Thanks for joining me. Tomorrow morning, bright and early, about 3, 3.30 in the morning, I am going to head west to Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. It's about 110 miles west of Tucson. And the temperatures now are getting up for 109, 110 degrees above zero. A little bit hotter than what I want to deal with. So I want to head out there early uh, so I can enjoy the area, explore the area, and then uh, visit the visitor center and then head back and hopefully be back in my nice cool apartment by noon. So that's the goal. I'm a little bit uh, curious what's going to occur. Uh, this particular park is right on the Mexican border. There's been activity reported in that area. so. Let's find out what goes on. So stay tuned. At the end, I'll talk a little bit more about Pipe Organ National Monument. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And uh, take a little bit of time and check out my other videos on my YouTube page. Take care. May all your seas be calm. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you staying with me all the way through the video. If you like what you see, if you could just click that like button, that would be awesome. I am currently in Oregon Pike Cactus National Monument. This monument was specifically designed to protect the Oregon Pipe Cactus. It's very abundant down south of the border, up north of the border, not so much. As a matter of fact, this is the only place where the Oregon Pipe Cactus grows. The Oregon Pipe Cactus is very similar to the saguaro cactus, although it doesn't have the arms. It just goes straight up. There's great examples right there behind, behind me of the Oregon Pipe Cactus. The Oregon Pipe Cactus blooms uh, late May, June, and July. I'm here at the end of June and it is blooming. The thing is with the Oregon Pipe Cactus, it blooms at night. And so I was very fortunate because to, to get here, I didn't want to be here during the heat of the day. It's going to get up to 109 degrees, and it's the middle of June. Imagine what July is going to be like. So I left Tucson at 3.30 in the morning, got here about 5 a.m., was able to stop and look at some different things, got, some, got a couple of real pretty morning shots. And so I was fortunate enough to be here while some of those cacti, the, particularly the uh, organ pipe cactus, was blooming so I got I got a couple pictures of that you should have seen those earlier um, the the area is very beautiful it's I really didn't expect to see as much brush as I saw and so that, that was pretty impressive the visitor center opens up at 8 a.m. in the morning closes about 3 o'clock the at the visitor center there is a large campground it has over 200 different sites and they have different types of sites depending on what type of camping vehicle you use or camping style you use sites are only like 16 dollars a, a night what a deal and everything looks clean and sparkly they've got some uh, concrete walks that you can take so that you don't need to worry about getting stuck with cactus and prickly things and stuff like that and so it's been a really great adventure for me i've had the opportunity to see different animals i've seen road runners i've seen the kangaroo rat i've seen the pack rat i've seen doves and a quail um, saw some coyotes and so it's it's been a really good trip this is a nice place to come 
During the winter, it gets pretty cold. Everything's dormant. Most of the animals go into hibernation during the winter. The cactus go into hibernation during the winter. So if you could swing it around June, that might be a good time to go. And just get here early before the heat of the day. And stay in the shade as much as you can. Wear a hat, wear sunglasses, put on suntan lotion. I, I like to use the 50. Keep yourself safe. May all your seas be calm. And thank you very much. Take care.